Hello everyone, and welcome to the first in a series of instructional videos in which I will go over how to set up and operate your Satachi Bluetooth Smart Pointer with a variety of devices. This video will show you how to pair and use your Smart Pointer with iOS devices like the iPod Touch, iPhone, and iPad. First, you'll need to pair your iOS device to your Smart Pointer. In your iOS device, go to Settings, then Bluetooth and turn Bluetooth on. Next, turn on the Smart Pointer with the switch on the back of the device. Slide down the keyboard guard to reveal the number pad and three other buttons. Press and hold the bottom left button depicting the Bluetooth icon. This will put the Smart Pointer in pairing mode. If you go back to the Bluetooth screen in your iOS device, you'll notice a list of available Bluetooth devices. After putting the Smart Pointer in pairing mode, it will appear in this list. Touch Smart Pointer in the device list. You will be asked to enter a PIN code on your Smart Pointer. Use the remote's number pad to key in the code, then press the Enter button on the number pad. The Smart Pointer should display as connected in your iOS device's Bluetooth list. iOS devices can use the Smart Pointer in two modes multimedia, and accessibility. You can change the remote's mode with a three-way switch on the back of the device. In multimedia mode, you can control various forms of media playback on your iOS device. Let's open the music app and try out some of the remote's functions. The center circular button pauses and plays your media. Use the top and bottom arrow buttons to adjust volume. Hold the side arrow buttons to fast forward or rewind, or press them once to skip tracks. The mute button silences your device, and the home button returns you to the iOS home screen. In multimedia mode, the laser button locks your screen. Multimedia mode also lets you use the smart pointer as a remote shutter for the camera app. Open the camera and press volume up to take a picture. In both multimedia mode and accessibility mode, holding the home button will activate Siri. Now I'll show you how to use accessibility mode, which allows you to browse, open, and navigate apps as well as Keynote for presentations and iBooks for reading eBooks and PDFs. Using accessibility mode requires a bit of additional setup in your iOS device. Open your settings, then go to General, scroll down to Accessibility, then scroll down to Triple Click Home, and set it to VoiceOver. Switch your Smart Pointer to accessibility mode. Then rapidly press the home button three times. VoiceOver on. Landscape. Messages. This turns on VoiceOver. VoiceOver will assist you by reading selections and actions made using the Smart Pointer in accessibility mode. To silence the voice, press mute on the remote. Speech off. In the home screen, the up and down arrows scroll through apps. The left and right arrows scroll between pages of apps and the circular button opens apps. With the keyboard guard down, press the bottom middle button to bring up the keyboard. While in accessibility mode, you can conduct presentations from the Keynote app. Use the side arrows to navigate through the slides. In the Photos app, you can browse through your pictures. Use the up and down arrows to select the pictures, then use the side arrows to browse through them. Read books and PDFs with the iBooks app. Use the up and down arrows to select the pages, then the side arrows to browse through them. 
I hope this tutorial has helped you start using your Bluetooth Smart Pointer with your iOS device. If you need additional instruction, contact us via the link in this video's description and we'd be happy to help. Thanks for watching.